South Korea's two presidential frontrunners were busy promoting their economic pledges. Their focus was on promoting innovation, helping small businesses, and creating jobs. Kim hyun bin shares with us their vision for boosting Asia's fourth largest economy. On the eve of the first day of registrations for those who wish to run in Korea's 27th presidential election, the two candidates enjoying a comfortable lead in opinion polls over others, focused on convincing voters that they are the ones who can boost a slumping economy, that they are the ones with the means to fix societal problems. Democratic Party of Korea nominee Moon Jae-in again stressed the need for the nation to brace for the fourth industrial revolution while proposing measures to rev up the ICT field. Noting that the U.S. has been investing heavily in artificial intelligence and that over three million college graduates launch their own startups or work for innovative firms each year in China. The candidate of the Liberal Party vowed to cut down red tape and further promote a new global trend, which will in turn increase investment and create more jobs. Korea needs to push forward with the fourth industrial revolution. We need to provide more support for innovative venture firms. I pledge to make Korea a startup nation by expanding support for startups and making it easier for people to kick off their own. People's Party candidate An Chul Su, once a successful entrepreneur himself, trumpeted his plan to lift the economy by establishing a so-called startup dreamland, where there would be limited government regulations to encourage aspiring entrepreneurs to come up with more innovative ideas and products. I'd like to introduce the idea of a startup dreamland. Startups in the industrial park will be able to venture and try various ideas and approaches free of regulations. If they prove themselves, they can move on to the next level. Han said there's a limit to the number of jobs conglomerates can create, and that has hit a point of saturation. He emphasized that the role of the government should be paving the way for SMEs to expand so that they can lead the economy forward and create more jobs along the way. As the nation's presidential hopefuls gear up for the official campaigning period next week, a series of pledges are pouring out. Most of them focus on revamping the sluggish economy and preparing the nation and the people for the future. Well, that's already here. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.